to my channel. Uh, this is Player One. I'm trying something new today. It's been a while since I uploaded a video, um, but today I'm working on Apple Makers Mini Cat 64. Um, yeah, let's get started. In the box, you'll get the manual, the USB C cable, and the keyboard. Um, pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. There really isn't much to it. It's already pre built. Um, I got this when it was first announced a while back. Um, you can see here, there is the staffs. These are not pre lubed, they are dry, um, and it's stacked acrylic. Uh, and there's RGB per key and also underglow. It's really nice cut. I had a friend who also ordered one, and there's there there was a couple flaws in the cuts, but it's not very noticeable once it's lit. Um, but do keep that in mind. Um, I believe the bare bones was about like sixty to seventy dollars, and now they have a pre build one with like switches and keycaps that you can get for maybe like ten fifteen more dollars. But anyways. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I have been working a lot. Not really. Okay, anyways, I interrupted myself. Sorry, I'm talking without a script. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been really busy, haven't had time, but trying to get back to it uh, in the end of the year. But anyways, this project was for me. Um, pretty much I bought this a couple months ago and now I finally built it. Um, and I'm making this into like my work from home keyboard. Uh, it has the arrows and I can use the layers for the functions, which I need for work. And pretty much I wanted to obviously make it sound more decent than what it was just earlier. And pretty much my idea was to loop the steps and add some mods to the keyboard uh, tape mod. I opt out to not loop the switches because I am simply just lazy. Um, I feel like I'm just working from home, so I don't necessarily need it to sound like top notch. And um, yeah, I only decided to get the holy pandas because it matches the stabs. And that's pretty much how I pick things for my builds. But anyways, you see here, I am removing everything. And there's actually this foam PC foam. Well, it's like, it's pretty thick. It gives me like the wool feel, so it's like hard. Um, but because of the PCB plate is really thin and flimsy, you can like whack it around. I'm sure that foam is purpose there so that you know compensates for the thickness of the plate. It's thinner than any normal plate. Um, yeah, so now I'm removing the sabs and I use dielectric grease and um, I was trying a new technique and it's gonna come up soon but I was just trying something new because I've never done it before as you can see here it's dry as hell um, but thank god there's no like little feet under um, the stems I, I really don't enjoy clipping nor like filing them down because it just just flies everywhere but yeah anyways and I like to loop inside the house and then outside the stems and a little bit and where the hole where the um, wire sits a little bit okay so I got the you know the syringe loop thing um, I want to try out because it seemed like it was an easier maybe like quicker alternative um, it's Crytox 205 grade zero I did not know oh my god my alarm <laughs> I did not know exactly where to apply it so this is just me testing it for the first time and I clearly did something wrong because when I tested out right here it is still rally it did not change 
So I ended up just going back to my old ways. I guess like, you know, there was nothing wrong with it in the first place, so why did I decide? I just wanted to see how. I guess I probably did it wrong, or I just didn't do it correctly, or I needed more. But uh, I just went to, you know, lubing my whole wires with dielectric grease. So now I am putting it back together. It's pretty straightforward, I would say, like, for someone who isn't really into mechanical keyboards and probably doesn't mind the stabs, then this is really easy. Um, so the second mod I did was tape mod. Uh, as you can see, I am cutting it. I'm avoiding the LED lights under so that the glow wouldn't turn too much blue or look as dim. I did tape over too. I realized that watching this video, um, but it's okay because all the other lights are still like shining, so it's all good. Like, don't worry about it, you know. So now I'm reassembling. Um, it didn't really take much. It was just the two top pieces and then the plate piece with the PCB. This is where I was like, what's going on? I swapped the two tops, <laughs> so I switched it, um, and then four screws back. And then now, I'm just putting back on my keycaps. I got these cute cartoon graffitis keycaps from AliExpress. It was really cheap, I think maybe like 20 bucks. Um, super budget build. I say budget because I also got the Holy Pandas um, aftermarket for really cheap. So I'm gonna count it. 